Hello and welcome to Machinist Guide. In this video we're going to discuss the telescoping gauge. Around the shop you hear these gauges referred to as a snap gauge. Their primary purpose is for checking IDs, but they can also be used for checking slot widths, uh, depths, a height gauge, there are several uses for them. But right now we're just going to get into the basics of what they are and how they function. You can look around my site and you'll find other videos on tips and ideals on how to use them and what, what you can do with them. But basically, the way the snap gauge works is we've got two contact rods here and here. They're spring loaded, there's a spring, they're hollow, and there's a spring that runs between them. Okay, there's a a lock rod runs down the shaft and connected to this screw. When you press compress these, you can lock these and they stay put. But now, a word of advice here, guys: don't when these are down, don't unlock them. Don't let them spring out or they'll fly across the room. They'll they'll launch like a rocket and you'll shoot your eye out. So so don't do that. So let's say for example now, I need to check the ID of this brass bushing. The basics of how these work is you collapse them, you lock them down, like so, and you drop it down in your board, and you let them snap out. That's why we call it a snap gauge. Now I'll normally hold this thing over on about a 10 degree angle and snug it. And then I pull it back across my part until it comes free. Then I take my measurement across my connecting rods. Now this is just some pretty basic stuff on how these things operate. So like I say, look around my site and you'll find some more detailed information. And we appreciate you dropping by. And don't forget to bookmark us. Look around the site. Enjoy yourself. And come back and see us.